Hi guys, thanks hello, for tuning hello. in to another show of Totally Obsessed. We're here at KEBN. Please be sure to follow us on all of our social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to check out our videos. And also, um, our hashtag is going to be Totally Obsessed, or our handle is at Totally Obsessed Show. So let's get into it. We have a yes. lot to talk about. I am excited. As usual. Yes, always, <laughs> always, always. So the first thing that's on our list is the government shutdown. Yes, finally. Yes. I think that we're into this thing here. The, I right? hope so. I hope <laughs> that the whole um, Trump signing the bill to opening it back up for three weeks is kind of like, you know, the opening to an end. Yes. What's crazy is that, um, you know, I guess I just, you just really never think about how this stuff really affects people. Like, this is affecting yes. families, this is affecting the workers. And something that I saw, um, Tamara um, Housley, she was mentioning on The Real, because she's on the show The Real, she was actually mentioned that when she was going through the airport with TSA and all of that, she was asking one of the workers, well, how can I help y'all? What can I do? Wow. And the worker said, I can, if you can just give me a gas card. Right, and wait just, just a gas step up card. for her. Yes. Like, seriously. Which yeah. was like so, I thought that was just Thoughtful so awesome. And, and yeah, and so many churches are coming together to help them. I also um, saw yeah. that Kraft, you know, the macaroni and cheese. Yes, their Kraft is opening up, yes. you know, like a building with their services to lend a hand to. Yes. So that's pretty exciting the way yeah. that, you know, I think so many times, especially with things going on right now, mm -hmm. we um, almost forget, mm -hmm. you know, how we do stick together right. in times of need and, and you know I think that we are there um, yes. you know more than the public and the social media realize right. so that's great I'm like kudos to um Tamara Housley for doing that. Yes, I mean, and, just, just and to crafts and churches and, and just other people just banded together to yeah. try and help. And I'm just like, you know, they are definitely in my prayers with, I can imagine going, going to work and having to go to work, sure. not even knowing if I'm going to pay mm -hmm. my bills. So thank God that, you know, at least this three weeks is open up, but I'm praying that it'll be extension on yeah. it and that we will end it soon. And one thing I do have to say, you know, just a person like me being in the position where I'm in. And so when you, you know, are based basically taking care of yourself, right. self-employed, things right. like that, you know, I just wish that we didn't forget about those people as well. Right. Like it always has to be a huge right. ordeal in order, um, for, us in to order for us pay to attention. think about, you know, how we can help one another out. And so right. I really just wish that at some point there is a program for people who, you know, are still in, um, in careers yeah. and, and also in need. It shouldn't just be when a man portion of our society right. is affected so I just wanted to put that out there no I agree hashtag Trump hashtag change yes, <laughs> Um, then also something just like on the lighter side was well, not really lighter side for the law um, the lawmaker who was actually trying to propose a new bill that would allow school districts across the state to create a code of conduct for adults visiting their campuses so basically um, this guy, his name is Antonio um, Antonio Parkinson, mm -hmm. and so he's wanting to pass like kind of like a law of basically parents coming to to the school yes. with to actually have a dress code because what he's saying, and I quote, he said, "People visiting their I'm sorry, people wearing next to nothing, people wearing shirts or tattoos with explicit explicit stuff." Um, like people, lyrics, yes, yeah. people coming onto the school campus and cursing the principal or the teacher out. So I think what he's saying, I mean, I do kind of see what he's saying as far as like, you know, probably women coming up there with just like nothing sure. on. Because you are in front of students, yes. you are in front of young kids. But I think that his main thing is the behavior mm -hmm. as well that is associated with it. They're coming in there cussing people out, acting a fool. Yes. Not only to me, you're already bringing attention to yourself in this short short and it's and just PJs. bad yes, yeah that one person messes it up for everyone and i'm yeah. sure you know i mean one person one person probably several people but i mean it's just like those of us who would want to come you know with something comfortable on maybe right. not something that we would wear in public so to speak or right. to work we should be able to do that and yeah. because of somebody else coming in and you know acting crazy yes. and you know really just having some nonsense going on mm -hmm. now we gotta come right drop kids off 
off like we go on the work. And, and, and I don't even think that um, it will be like business casual or anything like that. I think he just wants them to cover up like more. So yeah. I would do like, you know, a sweatpants like a light or like yoga pants or something like that. But basically just not coming just all out there in front of these right. students. Because these students have um, a dress code to abide by. So sure. it's like, okay, you're telling your kids get in the car with this, you know, uniform on and then you have on next to nothing like right. he's saying and then you're coming in there and basically saying like that behavior is associated mm -hmm. with most of the people who are coming in there and it's that. just unfortunate that it is 2019 and we have to still tell people yes. how to dress like we still have to tell them how to come presentable yes. especially when you do have kids and you know everybody don't always want to see you know how um like tight fitting yeah. you know clothes you're wearing and how and your body is everything just and, out and yeah exactly. and it's just, it's just you know like, i mean so keep that for a appropriate places so I do agree yes. with if it is you know getting way out, out of hand, hand. I can understand I wonder that. how they're gonna um take care of this though are people gonna start yeah. getting fine yeah. we gonna we gonna be seeing incidents like McDonald's yeah. people pulling people yeah. fighting you know, crazy cause hopefully it's I gonna be in a civilized fun. matter but I mean I think that they're gonna have to go to that type of living yeah. if they're very and I, it seems like that he's very serious about yeah. which I understand <laughs> Yes. I understand. I get that. Yeah, so moving on to some TV shows. Yes. Growing up hip hop. Oh is my back. god. Growing up hip -hop is back. <laughs> Like, like literally, I think we have spent just equally around six hours or so. It's with been some episodes. long episodes. I like, mean, basically, what they're doing is combining the first two episodes. They combine two, so yes. the first two episodes are two hours long. So it's four hours almost just to get through. You know, the first Thursday they premiered, and then the second Thursday yes. that they premiered. And I think they had too one. much footage, yeah, they but it was so lot. good it was that they really literally good. wanted to you know, put it on television because they probably couldn't use it. I mean, when else could they use that footage? Because right. I've really never seen a show that has had, um, you know, like almost two season premieres. Yes. That's basically, that's basically what, it what it was to me too. And yeah. then, I mean, I love how they did the live action in between yes. the second episode. Yes. Um, which was pretty cool. I think, I think a good. lot of shows, I, I think that's a great idea because now a lot of shows have kind of switched to the reunion. So now there's like a part one, right. part two, or part three. Right. So so if you can kind of you put know in there. Yes, put yeah. like some of the the things that are happening on the show yeah. in between then it doesn't feel like they won't be able to get through everything everything on the reunion mm -hmm. so true so let's get into so pep's new man oh the my scandal. god scandal yes. like it was just like first of all he was Come on, Pep. Like Romeo First of was all, like she Romeo have basically Pep is dating. Rash. I know <laughs> Pep is dating um, a man who's practically almost half her age. Yes. Um, I want to say that little Romeo would play basketball with she her. She is officially all that. Staff. Yeah, it's, it's just it and it's so it's just and, it, and he was her former security guard and she yes. kind of so I kind of get it. You know, you get close with people, you're working with them every day, and and you just have that you know that chemistry, and that's what it seemed like they did. But the thing was is that before they actually started their relationship he was having a new baby yes and so supposedly what pep was saying is that when they were in the relationship um she was going ahead and taking care of his baby the mother, baby mom and, yes, and him, him yes. by providing for them as far as the apartment and yes. i'm just like uh, so again, yeah. what, what, be what's careful. What, what, like, what security right. firm or company does she find this brother right. at? It's, <laughs> it's just like, I, just you, I think like, you're going, us as women, we have to learn to not to settle. Yes. Like, I understand that she's have, you know, she's having fun, you know, she's just trying to date and live life. her best life. But it's like, Pep, when you got to start paying a man and his baby mother's bills, yes. that's an issue. You know that's like, the problem. Like, self, self-worth. And she actually said it. She, she said had herself. the audacity she said to that. talk about put all of this on social media, yes. on Instagram, and make it seem like Pep stole, you know, yes. her, her husband. Because yes. this is, I mean, they're married. Yeah, they, so yes. I can understand the frustration, but I mean, come on, you know, use your brains. If somebody is taking care of you, clearly you can't take care of yourself. Right. And then you're going to throw them underneath yes. the bus. What's the term? You so don't fight the hand that feeds you. So basically, I mean, the baby mom, after Pep had posted a picture of her and the guy, she went back on social media and said, you know, she is basically uh, a homewrecker yeah. and all of this stuff. And Pep, like, they were they're separated and all that so it's just it's very unfortunate but 
Pep had even said, she was just like, you know, I feel like I have to make everyone else happy and I can't worry about my happiness. And it and sounds it's so like that's sad. her entire yeah, it's very, life. Yeah, yes, like very insecure. She, it's, a, it's a pattern. It's yeah. a pattern with her. But anyway, speaking of relationships, Angela and Romeo. Yeah, can we just, just face together? this and just give this a try, please? Like, like I'm right. so tired of hearing about it. Matter of fact, it, it should be strong. growing up hip hop. Angela, Angela and, and Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> yes, because it's it's all about them. Yes. It's all about, you know, anytime that they're together and then poor Bow Wow. Um like poor the, Bow battle wow. The, the battle of the littles. Bow Wow knew what he was doing. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. He came he came on there and he so specifically Master P said that Bow Wow reached out to him. So basically it was a um, celebrity basketball yes. tournament that always happens at the Essence Festival that Master Messy. P um, puts on. And so supposedly Bow Wow reached out to Master P to join this year. And Master oh, P was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know like, that Bow Wow reached out to yes, him. But then, but then Bow Wow said that, that Master P called him. Yes, and okay. I honestly think that Bow Wow reached out to him. Because to, you know, yeah. Master P don't seem messy, He's, yeah. but Bow definitely has right. that messiness right. in him. But so. the cool thing was that I really liked about that is that it brought them together because it's always yeah. been that little Romeo and Bow Wow vibe. But then, mm -hmm. yes, but then like they even show, and I was talking to my aunt about this, how they are so quick to put, you know, us at, at each other's at throats. Yes, like absolutely. Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Like, it's like the rising stars. Like, for real. I yeah. think we're going to be seeing them come yeah. together. No, I'm just saying like even like yeah, Brandy, like, Brandy and Monica. It's yeah, like they're so no. quick to get in their ears. And I'm happy that they came together because Master P was just like, you know, or um, Bad was like, there wasn't even any, any beef. Like, they were like, it was no beef. It was most of the time people were on it, or in their ear on that end and in their on their end, you know, on that end, talking in their ears, mm -hmm. giving them all this, you know, negative feedback. And then when you see them, you're like, oh, yeah, like, like, what happened? Head. Like, so that's why I'm like, just get <laughs> together, sit down, work it out. And I'm happy that they actually did that. It was cool to see their little, you know. It was. I, I mean, mean, they're not going to be BFFs, but now they're cool. And the perfect yeah. place for guys to battle it out, you know, on the court. So right. there you go. Even right. though, you know, Romeo, it sounds like he won the game he and did. won the girl. He did. I mean, I'm Pretty just much. saying. Pretty much. Pretty much. So Vanessa and Angela's relationship yeah, is interesting. It's kind of. You, now, you were saying, is Vanessa jealous of Angela? I, I was think absolutely that. not. Because I think they started off, you know, with um, Vanessa kind of being like, you know, in the spotlight more, right? You know, mm -hmm. she was the one that, you know, started on um, the soap opera mm -hmm. and, you know, really, I, I think, started taking that celebrity range, um, you know, outside of um, Run's House yeah. and Rev Run and things like that. And now Ann just like, I mean, she is everywhere, yeah. literally, um, especially I always am looking at her on Yummy Hair. And yeah. I'm just like, you know, Which do your thing. Here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> The boutique, the boutique. I know. I know. I'm like, okay, are they still open? I know. Um, they yeah. are. Like I mean, all advertisements are taken down. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. They got a little, you know. No, no. But no, I mean, I really am kind of thinking, is there a little bit of sister, you know, competitiveness? Yeah. I don't and, think and, that. And, 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 I'm, um, uh, it's interesting that you think that. I don't think that. I really do think that Angela is being just like a little mean. Yeah. I really do. Like, she... I'm sorry, like I love Angela and I love what she stands for, but I feel like sometimes she comes across a little bratty. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, what did you expect, Vanessa? If I would have gotten a deal to open back up a company that I used to have and you don't want to be a part, right. I'm going to go after that deal just like she said she's trying to bring a legacy just, to her um, she's daughter. She's too busy. She's yeah. just too busy. Yeah, and it's just like, I don't like, and I feel like, I just feel like that sometimes Angela can be um, petty and then she tries to be like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh -huh. I, didn't, I, just, I just said that person, you know, not inviting her to the winner's right. circle. circle. And it's just kind of like, no, Angela, I think you were being a little petty and a little... Yeah, mean. I really think that she yeah. is in her own world. She's yeah. kind of, you know, on top of her game now. She's doing her own thing. In a way, it's almost like she doesn't necessarily need Vanessa right. to hold her own. Yeah, because to me, it seems like Vanessa chases Angela. Kind of like, yes, what are you doing? I what are you doing? Like, I want her, and, and I don't think it's in a let me get a part of what you have I think it's in like I want to be a close sister to yeah. you I really I really do I think it's genuine so it's interesting to see how it played out it, I know that they just recently did a photo shoot together that was super cute mm -hmm. so I mean I think just you just had that silver uh, like the, I'm sorry that sibling rivalry sometimes yes. but then you get over it you move on and then y'all are back and I love that they're incorporating Jojo, JoJo? I know he's 
he is now, like so Jojo, funny. But he, Jojo is messy. We <laughs> gotta get into that next time because he is so <laughs> yeah, messy. He really is. I'm uh-huh. just like I can't even deal with and him. And he's like in between them. And I think yes. it's, I, I think it was really cute when he said, you know, basically Vanessa, you're gonna have to do you. This isn't Ron's house anymore. This, this is Vanessa's house. house. Yeah. And so I thought that that was like a, a nice little cute for her to go on and move on and and do her thing. And yeah. then I mean, you know, nothing is. Final. She could right. join right. Um, Asia, I'm sure, yeah. Um, or but yeah, they could join each other right. again with some other, you know, career venture Absolutely. or something like that. Absolutely. So I think that they'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fun to see how it all plays out. But moving on to Real Housewives of Atlanta, really yes. quickly. Um, so <laughs> they just did the trip to um, Tokyo, or they just started the trip to Tokyo, and um, it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It seems like everybody's getting along and yes. stuff like that. So far, yes. for like five minutes. So far, Portia ended up announcing her pregnancy yes. to them, which I was just like, I was just a little boring. Yeah, it was a little boring. Like, was like she just did like, the little gong. Uh-huh. I'm pregnant, or she did it in language. <laughs> so you know, it was all the shade coming from the girls. You yeah. know, like okay, I'm so glad that she is actually pregnant. pregnant. Everyone suspected it. Everyone knew. She couldn't even hide it. You know her clothes look a little yes. different. You know. And then of course she wasn't drinking. And right. you know different little hints that she was giving really on her own. So I think that they just really did the surprise yeah. for the show. For sure. I think everyone, everyone knew. knew it. Yeah. yeah. And we're just on the outside looking in. So you know of course yes. you know we don't see. But um, I think that she, you know she knew. And then as far as Margo. So crazy her losing that luggage. Like, I luggage. know they just killed oh her entire gosh. trip. I would have been done. Done, yes, done. I know. I'm all the way Have you Tokyo. ever lost your luggage no, before? I okay. Have. Or like it hasn't come. Oh my God. That I is, have. I, think I, would, I don't know what I would do because you know you have your makeup in there. Yes. You have your clothing in there. You already have outfits picked out for the day. Especially with a trip that far. Yes, absolutely. Like I would have been devastated. And I'm like, and did, did they ever find them? Like what's going on? I'm assuming that they did. Okay. I mean, she would be, you know, a little bit more crazy. Yeah, especially with all of her name she, brands. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and then speaking of name brands, Nene's friend, um, who Nene revealed at, I think it was like at the temple before they went into the temple that she's yes, actually not married. That I'm she's like, actually not married. Nene, what and is going on with you? Almost, well, it was kind of like a, um, what do you call it? Like a palm reader kind of. You know, like giving all of this insight. Oh uh, yeah, it, you was, know it what was, I mean? was more so for them. It was more so like like um, like reading. Yeah, well, yeah, but it was more so of like um like the fortune cookie. Like thing. a fortune cookie. Yeah, that's I what it was. Yeah, um, more uh, so I'm telling me. the future. Yeah. It was so interesting because it was like everybody's fortune cookie was on point. It really wasn't And then you get to you know um, Nini's friend, and it's, it's just basically said, like you will get married soon. Yes, and everybody was like, okay, wait well, a minute. I thought that married. you were already married. Yeah. Yes, and then. Nini was basically like saying, oh, okay, well, maybe that's a hint that that's not the one that you're supposed yes. to marry. And I'm like, okay, okay. you can't be I think she's just taking like digs at her because I think, Nini, I think Nini came in with the expectation of people not liking her and yes. just having one of those friends just to string along and kind of be like a doll. And everyone is taken to her well. Everyone is, um, you know, really receptive to her. And, and Nene's just like, okay, well, if y'all don't like her, I don't like her. And right. it's just like, come on. Like, she, you, we've seen her do this. Like, Portia's even mentioned she builds someone up and then tears them down. And it's just like, you know, she'll have beef with one person one season. The next season, they're best friends. And then she'll have beef, you know. Yes. So, um, I, and Nene is always, the again, she's always she's always testing people. Right. You know, That's just what it is. to kind of That's what it see is. if, okay, I'm a come for you yeah. and then you know we're gonna see if you're gonna come for me back like right. ain't nobody scared how many seasons have you been on this show exactly. you know but then i think she messed with the wrong person because this yeah. friend of hers quote unquote friend that she actually right. met in her um in her boutique yeah. yes i'm like how you gonna come for your own friends like literally on camera in public and the right. friend is just like listen um i want my husband like he's my soulmate he's right. my best friend this is who I'm staying with, right. you know. And then she was just like, "I don't care about your relationship. Like, I don't yeah, care." Yeah, you so do because it going. bothered you. No, so, it yeah. definitely. So it, it'll be interesting to see the and next then episode. Also, she did mention that her and Greg are kind of going through some issues. Right. Too, so I think that's what it is. She was like it out on her. And, yeah. You know, they haven't been getting along. Oh, and I'm so you really can't so. judge, you know, people for that because you just never know how you'll handle a situation. Right. You know, when you're in it. And so when I heard her say that, I was wondering. If she was gonna come out mm-hmm. and say something because it can't be easy.
easy, mm -hmm. you know, um, but you can just kind of feel the tension and, and see like a little bit of, you know, separation between them. And hey, you know, hopefully they'll they'll keep it moving. And, yeah, and yeah, well, I'm, I, yeah, I pray, I'm really, I'm praying for him and hoping, you know, that he does come out on the other end of this yes. and really have that ultimate healing. Okay, so also, um, This Is Us Is Back. Yes. That is one of my favorite us. shows. It's such a wholesome, family show like yeah. this is so refreshing you I did not love hate this show. anything about this uh, the writers are yeah. perfect the way that they collide the past with the present what's going on now yeah. and um the first season i cried like almost every episode <laughs> because no. it was just so good it was so authentic it's so, like, and it's just like i can sit down with my niece and nephew and watch this i don't have to worry about all like the sexual content when yes. i don't like to watch all that stuff anyway it's just a clean like relatable family mm -hmm. show and i love it so i'm so happy that it's bad yes. it's, i'm interested to see how everything plays out i know that they just met i am um, brother yes, yes. and, so, and that that is so funny too because you know one of the best things that I like about This Is Us is that it's so real. Yes. You know, it's like they actually give real life situations. Yes. You know, so even the, the episode war. that just came mm -hmm. on, right, the war, and I just have to say that little Asian boy was so oh, cute. No. And so if anything, I was just like, he's so cute. So no, no, like, no, no, and I saw it, and I was just like. Like, don't oh take God. him out of this. No. Like, no. And then just the way that it happened, it was just yeah, like, okay. It's just like, it was really an accident. So I'm so happy that how they did, like how they showed Kevin doing what his dad didn't do. Yeah, He basically broke that cycle of, right. you know, going back to go get um, the his uncle. Pretty okay. Much. And so that's yeah. my question. So when I see things like that, then you really have to kind of like check your own self. Because I'm like, okay, that uncle looked like he got a lot of problems. Right. I might see what I can do to fix the problem before I put him in my household. Like, I just, you know, and that's no, just but that's my just, mentality. But, you know, because, but because of who they are and yes, who they, who they Jack who was, they are. like, they can't help themselves. Yes, and I, speaking true. of them, I just love the black love. Um, I love oh his roommate is Sterling K, yes. like his wife and on that, there. Yes. And how they support each other is just phenomenal. Yes. It's such like, a he, great he's example. Like, even more just pumping her up and yes. more excited about her so getting back beautiful. into the workplace yeah. and just really and her supporting him when she didn't want to exactly so and I just helping her beautiful. with the, the insecurities and, yes. and basically just being like you know the rock for her and so it's just it's awesome to yes. see stuff like that so awesome I love yeah, it yeah I'm excited for this week I love it <laughs> so also just one more is the rap game yes. the rap game that's my show that's my show that's my show too I think like, you got me like you I know, know a little bit I, I, I love okay, for show some reason I love like kids shows yeah. like them showcasing their talent them actually giving like an opportunity how JD is doing that he's been doing it season after season yes, after season he and how he's giving and he's kids. the perfect person he is um, he's to, so to perfect that. and he crisscross yes. and rap and how he teaches them yes. he's just not on there saying rap mm -hmm. he's saying you know do this because of XYZ this yeah. is what you're going to get ready for in this industry so it's been really cool um, I do like Mia so she's kind of like one of my favorites um, I'm just still waiting it's still a new show so I'm just waiting to see who all yes. you know will, how it appears and what's his name? Saya? Is that his name? Yes, Saya. Yeah, he is literally turned up. Too um, much. Yeah. Team too much. <laughs> he like wants to be in front of everybody. Yeah, and so I'm just kind of like, okay, little one, I'm going to need you to calm down. Calm down. Uh, because you want to just take over. Right. He can, He is not a good group person. No, like, he not. needs to be by himself. By himself. Seriously. Which his mom knows that as well. Uh, which his mom knows that. And then just yeah. touching on some trending and celebrity news. Yes. Mike, the situation from Jersey Shore actually just ended up in prison. I know. And I you was know, like, you but it was not. only eight months. It's only eight months, oh, though. Okay. Yeah, so that's at first I was like, <laughs> well, you I say that's not long until you get there. Until you're in there, but it was tax evasion, so I yes. think that that was a good thing. So, you know, and then he ended up reaching out to Kim K because she's um, gotten someone off and got them indicted before and so he was yeah. trying to tell her you know free Mike the situation but I'm like it's eight months like what do you want to, him to get three right like, and then know? there's so and I, I mean no offense to Mike but then there's so many other people that have been in there for major things it's that they like, that's have not, not been well but I'm talking about people that have been accused of like murder oh, yes. and, you know that's like so really true. extreme things like the lady that she did help get out I mean she had been in prison for what maybe 20 years right or it was more it was more of a like serious situation to yeah. where she wasn't actually like she wasn't even supposed to be in there. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? That's and a little so, bit different. But he was guilty.
frequency. Right, because yeah. by the, the time that it probably takes for all of this stuff to go through, he'd be out. Right. He might even get let out early on good behavior, knowing him, exactly. you know, he's like this jokester. You know, and I love how he turned his life around. Yeah. I really do. It's, it's oh, beautiful yeah. to see. You can tell that it's genuine and it's not just putting on for the camera. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, Cardi B is actually going to be the Pepsi commercial. Yes, she for the got the Pepsi this ad this year, yeah. which to me, I love that because I'm like, okay, um, Pepsi is back now. <laughs> like, you know, now that Cardi B has their back, like, Pepsi is back. Because yes. I don't even know who is really drinking sodas and, you know, really, like, repping Pepsi like that anymore. I can't remember the last time I've seen an ad. Or maybe I'm just excited because now Cardi B is repping them. So, right. that's, like, a huge shout-out to her. Yes. And then the um, Vegas residency. Yes. Um, so she's just doing her thing. Yes. Um, so, she got that. And actually, um... They are remodeling the Palms Hotel, so when you know she starts her residency oh, there, sure. like yeah, they I have mean, to get it right for her. They got to get it right. right, yeah. So that that's exciting. I'm excited that she is um, really just staying on top of her game and see. You know, even though she had that baby and everybody was saying, oh, you know. No, she, she's, she's going to strike by the iron hot. Yes. She's not dumb. Mm -hmm. Like, she she knows that she has all these deals coming up and she's yeah. hot right now. So, she's going to do what she has to do. Yeah, she's yeah, on top she, of it. Yeah, she's definitely on top of it. And speaking <laughs> of the Super Bowl, supposedly um, medical the marijuana. Medical marijuana. Yes. Man. And yes. CBS banned from Super Bowl um, broadcast. Yes. So, which is crazy because this we're not talking about people who are just trying to get high. Yes. We're talking about actually, you know what I mean, Using like it for, for medical you know, purposes yes. only. Because I don't support just, you know, going yes. out there and getting high and all that stuff. Right, just but, casually right. using marijuana. No, and the thing that really, um, because there's so many people mm -hmm. that suffer from, you know, really debilitating mm -hmm. illnesses, mm -hmm. and the fact that they're going to be showing alcohol ads. They're right. going to, you know, be showing um, just different things that really aren't necessarily helping help anyone. Yeah, help I mean, I really, help. yeah, I really kind of feel like they got snubbed because mm -hmm. they spent a lot of money and a lot of time and effort. And you guys can even check this um, medical marijuana ad out as well. Mm -hmm. Like they have it posted. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just seeing um, some of these people that are ill, laying um, in the beds and cannot get out of right. beds, and the fact that nobody wants to, I guess I don't necessarily want to say be responsible for promoting it, mm -hmm. but I just think that it's real, and I think that it needs to be a little bit more looked at. Right, because um, it's a serious thing. I that, think yeah, it has that a negative connotation people. because of the name. I do too. I, I mean, think that's what it is. still illegal yeah, in and so think, many different states. Right. Right. You know, so which is another people, thing yeah. I think that people would, you know, start looking at if people um, like CBS stepped up. Mm -hmm. That kind of platform. Because it's to help. Yeah. It you know, that kind hard. of platform. You know, you never know what um, senators or people that are responsible for legalizing um, things like marijuana in, in our states would think yeah. if, if other people that were on bigger platforms stepped up and said, hey, let's give this a try. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was a little disappointed um, in, in some of the networks that just yeah. really didn't see the vision. You know, yeah, that's how absolutely. It was, about, it was about to actually help people mm -hmm. and not just to have them party with alcohol. Yes, and that's you the thing, I mean? the controversy between yeah. how alcohol, you know, affects people yeah. and, and is even sometimes, you know, more of a cursor yeah. than what something like medical, like that has actually been proven yeah. medical marijuana to help people. So, yeah. 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 And yeah. then the last thing on our list for celebrity news is Chris Brown is supposedly in... Um, back in the news. Yeah, back yes. in the news. So what's going on with that? Because I'm, I'm not even necessarily sure. Well, but. I think it was Tuesday mm -hmm. um, that he is in, he was in Paris um, shooting a video and I think he was like with his um, girlfriend, of course his team, and evidently they were at some hotel having a great time and, you know, the girl decided that she, you know, um, wanted to say that she got raped. I mean, it's like a legend thing. Wow. Because at this point, what she's saying is um, that he raped her and then her, um, and then his, some of his team oh, or God. friends assaulted her. Jesus. Um, so he's still in Paris. 
He's not in jail. He bailed out. Right. Um, but this is what kind of makes me, you know, just put a question mark is because he is actually now filing charges against her wow. um, for, you know, coming out and, and you I know, mean, well, falsely I, accusing him. Yeah, I definitely him. pray that the truth comes out. Yeah. Because rape is nothing to play with. And that is such um, a huge, it, Yeah, yeah. this is nothing to play with. And especially not, I don't know the details, so I can't say, you know, right. what, what's of really course, going like, on. Especially like with the R. Kelly not. thing. I think yeah. we're, so, we're so quick to judge and say, no, that didn't happen. She didn't want this. Or we're so mm -hmm. quick to say, well, Chris Brown is absolutely guilty. So I just pray that the truth come out and that is just as it served on either end. You know, it's nothing to play with on either end. And so, you know, it's, it's crazy that that happened and that that is coming out, especially it's, it's just like, really? Like, again, here we go again yeah. with something else. You yeah. know what I mean? Absolutely. And, you know, I think that because he is such a target mm -hmm. and has been such a target, like, I, I want to say every year it's some kind of scandal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but sometimes the there's thing. truth to that. And sometimes you know there's truth. I mean? Yeah, it, like it, people aren't going right, to stop. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. But he so is now still shooting his video, going along, you know, yeah. um, on with his life, still in Paris. And so it just, you know, like I said, makes you wonder. It doesn't seem like he is nervous or spooked or went into right, hiding or anything like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everyone, you know, right, it's, it's right. the same, like I said, it's the simil similarities uh -huh. um, yeah. to these stars who are, who who has that kind of like that guy complex? But unfortunately, <laughs> I, I hope that it's not the case. In in you know, I, I, at the end of the day, I just hope that the truth comes out. But I know you said that he's in Paris, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna move on to fashion trends because Yay. Paris Fashion Week is happening, and that's yes. probably why he's there. Mm -hmm. So Miss Naomi Campbell, oh my gosh. she is 48 Have years you old. Seen this picture of 48 her? years old, and she shut down the runway shut after her. Four, so she hasn't been on the runway 14 years. This is her. 14 year return on the runway and she was in the Valentino Couture show and I mean absolutely shut it down she was the finale and the dress that she wore was transparent it was black and I mean transparent as in nipple transparent like, yes. you could see some stuff you could see like, every, yo, like you could Naomi see, like, we, we in it we're still together honey I know you, right? I guess she exactly. was like yes I'm rocking I'm and showing them so amazing. everyone was already like shocked the fact that yeah. she made her 14 year, year um, old return and then not only that but then the dress that she wore or just kind of like boom yeah. like you know I'm, if I'm gonna come back I'm gonna come back exactly gonna and that's it. what she did yeah I mean, and so really it's you know, I was like whoo now yeah. you'll be all right girl <laughs> okay exactly. all right but um speaking of Valentino so the Valentino Couture show was just absolutely stunning um uh, Valentino they they've been doing this for forever they're pros at it it's beautiful um, it was a lot of color and it was a lot of ruffles in these contoured gowns, um, which is actually something I'll speak about later on is um, for spring and summer, like bold, like neon colors are really, really coming back. And so that's what they kind of showcase with the, like a lot of ruffles in their gowns. And they also, something that they did that I loved, they also included 43 black models um, in their show. So obviously, Valentino is my designer of the week. Yeah. They show the versatility. Um, they show, you know, that these colors can look beautiful against any skin color. I love, there was a picture of like Naomi, like kind of in the middle and then other models surrounding her um, just from the show that's kind of highlighting it. And it showed like that versatility, versatility of different colors, different hues, different skin tones against these beautiful pops of colors and ruffles. So, I mean, they did a phenomenal job. Not to mention that I um, watched a biography of Valentino not too, oh no, it was a few years ago. It was back when I was in college. Um, and something that he said, a quote that stuck with me, he said, I know um, what women want. And, mm -hmm. he, and then they said, what, do you, what does women want? And he said, to, look, to feel beautiful. And so that's the mindset that, that he, he has, thinks yeah, and that, that he, he has, with it. and he knows that we want, and that's so true, we want yeah. to feel beautiful, we want mm -hmm. to look beautiful, so it was just so simple, but um, some more trends that are happening for autumn and winter are ponchos, so ponchos are on the rise, I kind of have on one, I know, and it's super a little bit of poncho, cute. 
But know, um, it's it. not your old school, you know, poncho. They, yeah. They're making them a little bit. Anytime, like I always say, um, fashion repeats itself. Mm -hmm. And anytime it comes back, it comes back like more so in like a modernized way. So people are modernize them with jackets. So it's yeah. almost like that cross between a cape and a poncho. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple places that you can actually get these are Shein. So that's an online store. Okay. And it's S-H-E-I-N. Um, it's really cool because they have like a several different ones and we'll post some pictures of um, some as well yeah. that you guys can go and actually shop these looks. Now are um, they, because like yours is really like which I love because mm -hmm. it seems like it'll transfer from winter to spring. Right. So some of them I've seen are kind of like a little bit heavier. Yes, those are more so of the jackets. Um, oh, I was okay. going to call out Nini's. She had on one when they went to Tokyo. Okay. So she had on a denim um, poncho, I noticed. Okay. And I was like, okay, that's really cute, Nini. It was like a mm -hmm. denim poncho slash cape-ish. Okay. So it looks like they, they kind of basically just combined the two. Mm -hmm. um, the one that I'm wearing, shout out to Shaw Dolls. Um, I wish I can have Roshina, that's the, the owner um, of the show. I wish I can have her on the show, but I know she travels a lot. Okay. But that's what I'm wearing is Shawl Dolls, S-H-A-W-L-D-A-W-L. So um, basically it's just a line of like shawls, but um, it has like that poncho vibe as well, okay. like I'm saying. Um, and you so know, I like flowy. Yes, yes just flowy and, so, and yes. free and beautiful. Exactly. Um, another trend is, of course, hats. That's why I'm wearing one right now. Mm -hmm. So these are great for um, if you have bad head, if you're rolling out of bed, <laughs> you have to hurry up and go, which was kind of me today. And um, you just kind of want to throw in a hat. Like, I'm loving the, this is actually a men's fedora hat. So okay. women can actually incorporate that into their wardrobe as well. I'm or take from their husband. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Just kind of, oh, I'm, I'm telling still your hair real yeah, quick. Exactly. Like, you know, we already uh, shared closets. So let me throw this on. Yes, yes, yes. Button down. So you might as well throw on that, that yes. hat. But um, so that's what I'm really liking um, this autumn and winter is the trends of the hats um, that are coming right. out. And, I mean, and specifically for doors. Men's hats. Like, I think that's like the only, I'm so sad to say this. It's like the only hat that fits my head. Oh, well, our hair. Our hair. All I this. think that's what it is. It I had to be, get this hat. I have no choice. that's going on is a jewelry trend um, which is called it's a piercing basically it's like a high low lobe piercing in the ear so it's almost if you have a second hole it's in it's a little bit up and it's in between your second and first hole but um, going a little bit higher so that's why it's called high low low piercing so we'll also put um, examples of this look as well out there so it's a really cute little dainty I look. Always like, I always admire that. people with yeah. multiple piercings like yeah. in the air I always thought it was it so a, cute. It's a huge trend yeah. for jewelry right now just in general even if you don't have the high low um, lobe you can definitely still do a layered ear look if you have those multiple piercings yeah so you can do you know um, a dangle a hoop uh, you know so oh, they're starting yeah, to mix it up a little that. bit more mm -hmm. to where it's more of a statement so you don't have to um, you know have this fancy you know earring to make a look or to make a statement as yeah. far as the ear is concerned so I just think that it's beautiful how everyone is layering them and how they're becoming like you know a thing or a statement and I'm like I want to get you know even if you don't what I can say is that even if you don't have those multiple piercings there are some um, things you can do to fake them yes yeah okay. I was just getting ready to say that because yes. I've seen that you know like little clip-ons um, that basically look like a half yes. of an earring and then you just basically clip it on but it gives yes. the appearance of multiple, of multiple piercings yes, yes. Exactly. a lot of different stores have that like forever 21 you know of course for accessories something very very affordable or if you go to maybe I'm like a Target or wherever you can find those pretty much anywhere oh yes. Claire's Claire's yes. is really Claire's good for and the icing. yes and the mm -hmm. icing so those are really phenomenal yeah. stores to go to because I know I've purchased a couple just to have that little look um, now I don't have the cartilage and all that but it's just a right. cute state that and you know I like you get to a certain age you ain't trying to go through no pain unless you have to like yeah. I don't necessarily <laughs> I remember getting my ears pierced like you know when I, I think true. mine got 
clothes. Yeah. So my mom got them pierced when I was like really, really young. I don't remember, but I'm assuming that it hurt then. Yeah. And then they closed and I got them re pierced. And I was like, oh no. Yeah. Like this won't be happening again. Like if they close, I mean, literally, I was just going to come out there with like one ear pierced. Right. Because I did not want to do the second one. So ain't going to be that. But that's even a trend right now. Yeah. Well, seriously, like the way they do. No, like people are doing like, cause, um, I did it on the show probably like a couple of weeks ago and I had the brace, but I did one hoop, one. Yeah, that was really cute. Um, or you can just get one multiple piercing um, and you don't have to do both of them like you said. But okay. I've gotten the second one pierced before, but I was scared. I got it, did, I got it done in Walmart. Um, you know, no no shade to them, but I was just a little scared <laughs> that it wasn't going to heal correctly. Yeah. And so I was, a little, I was scared of those, those keloids. Mm -hmm. And a lot of tattoo... Um, parlors, places, they peer oh, yeah. peers in and, and stuff and like that too, just in case you don't want to go to Claire's because yeah. literally when I go to Claire's I always see like the little babies and the little kids yeah. up there crying. I'm like, that's going to be me, just a big old grown person. Well, take me with you so I can record. I'm going to be laughing. I'm just saying. Girl, it's not happening. Yeah. I, like I said, I'm, I will go to Claire's to buy me one of those um, ones that look real. Yeah. On my ear. They, have, they do really well with that. Mm -hmm. And then also letting you guys know that I'll be updating you on Project Runway because Project yes. Runway is back and I love this show. It just show, showcases so much um, fashion designers who are up and coming. This one is actually All Stars and so this show is, I love the way that they did this. They did all of the winners from different seasons over um, that's international. So like the person who won um, Project Runway Australia and they just have different countries on there which is so cool how they did that and connected them all. So um, I'm curious to see how or I'm definitely going to stay tuned to see how all of that is going to play out as far as I've already seen some bomb designs. Like okay. even one of my favorite challenges which they had a couple weeks ago was um, the unconventional challenge when they do like different pieces like it's not your actual they, don't, they actually didn't do fabric. They they did different pieces but what's so funny about this show is how they always are so shady about other people's <laughs> looks and so it's just fun i wish they would have brought anthony back and i know that's what i wonder so um project runway these are all upcoming um yes the the normal project runway designers. with yeah the normal um project runway with heidi klum and with tim guns right. those are people who are up and coming but then all stars they have a different cast oh. they have I, they have isaac mizrahi which i love, love. I love Isaac Mizrahi. Um, and they also when have Georgina Chapman. That is the reason why I watch QVC. Yes. <laughs> it's because of him. Because he's, so he's just so, like the funny. way that he describes his clothes is yes. like eating your favorite like meal. Yes. I mean, he's just so He's, he's definitely so diverse. And, yeah. and so like he has that like all like the looks and stuff down. I was wondering who I was buying in Target all the time, y'all. Yes, and it, right. yes, exactly. Shoes, clothes, bags, like he has it all. He it's does. So, so what about beauty trends? What do you have? Yes. So this week, um, I'm gonna talk about Mac. You know, y'all, that's one of my favorite things. But I have been talking about other things, so just in case y'all been following. Um, the one thing that I want to start off with though is um the prep prime fix. When I tell you guys this is like literally one of the number one products, but even though like almost everything I talk about is number one. So the uh, Prep Prime Fix, basically what it is, it's, it's like a spray. It's a mist that you can put on. It's so versatile. So one of the first things that it does is it hydrates, of course. Mm, awesome. But um, so when I tried this, I was just using the regular one. Like they just have like just a plain. Jane one. Girl, then they decided to come out with different scents. Oh, lavender, oh, rose, so coconut. Different. And so like, of course, the lavender one is purple, the rose one is pink. Like, I mean, it just totally goes down the line. And so when you spray it, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. So of course, I love the lavender one because it's very calming. Um, so people that have sensitive skin that suffer from like rosacea um, or acne um, or even oiliness, this is like an excellent product for. So even um, I had this instance where we were at a location and someone had like a, a Allergic reaction. Let me tell you, this um, prep prime. You sprayed it on, and literally within five minutes, Are um, you her serious? skin was so calm. Is it like a natural, organic type of? Uh, um, so mist? there are a lot of natural ingredients oh in it, mm -hmm. and amazing. there's a lot of calming um, ingredients in it as well. Wow. But one of the um, main things is is that it it 
improves the skin as well um, so people that are you know going through discoloration so it evens out the skin tone which is oh. something else that I really like wow. so that's why um, if you put it on before that's where that word prime mm -hmm. um, comes from yeah you put it on before your makeup uh, then definitely you get somewhat of like a more smooth um, texture right also those of you guys who fly a lot travel a lot um, are working super long hours when you are feeling just a little tired you want some rejuvenation yeah. spray this stuff on it wow. gives you like a really quick I kind of like I know tomorrow. wakes you up yeah. um, and then the another thing is that when it's hot and we all know how Texas weather is or you know wherever you are where it gets super hot put it in the refrigerator Mm. or have it somewhere where it's cool it's like fresh yes exactly and so it's fresh like if you're at home you know you're going to go sit out by the pool or something yeah. like that because it also protects the skin yeah. so that is something else that I really really love about this um, and then it just really soothes as well yes. so um, I mean priming hydrating soothing and just everything all, you need in a bottle yeah, a downright all just great products yes. so love 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 that um, my next product is um, Laura, Laura Mercier. Oh, yeah. And now, so this is um, a line that has been out for a very, very long time. And what I want to talk about with them is their translucent powders. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they have basically one um, original powder that is white. Everybody kind of is, is familiar with the translucent powder, so it can kind of get a little bit messy. It reminds you of like a baby powder. Mm -hmm. um, but what I like about it is because it finishes your look, but then it also smooths out the skin tone as well. Oh, nice. um, and so for people that are really kind of um, oily to um, combination skin, mm -hmm. meaning like, so for me, I'm combination skin. I am too. So I get like dry and flakiness, this really kind of like crazy, wacky skin. Um, so I'll get that. And this is the reason why I like the basic translucent powder. Mm -hmm. um, and then instead of using a brush with it, it comes with like a sponge. And so you know how sometimes you can use a sponge and just kind of, you know, rub it all over with your, uh, with your brush, use the sponge and dab it in okay. because it really sets the makeup a lot more and plus sometimes when you're using your brush um for those of us who got a little bit of pigment in our skin we don't want to be coming out looking like no ghost right, <laughs> um, right. so it's, cool. uh, it's definitely easier to kind of pat it into your skin so first of all and and i'm serious about this y'all this translucent powder literally um i i was using it but i didn't know it was again like one of the number one translucent powders right. so um that's the reason why I really like it is just because literally you can use it by itself. Yes. Um, the next one is, it's still Laura Mercier um, and it's still in the translucent powder family, but it is um, their glow version. Mm -hmm. So their glow version actually just has a little bit more of a shimmer to it, which the reason why I love this is because when you do look dull and you put this on, it definitely gives you like a really cool highlight. Oh, wow. um, and so uh, when you wear it, again, it lasts for about 12 to, I think they said 12 to 18 hours. Oh, so I really wow. like that. And then my favorite, favorite thing about it is it does not smudge. So y'all, you know how you put your makeup on yes. and you, you, you trying to put your shirt on yes. and you know you should have put your, your makeup, makeup on after. <laughs> This fixes that, yes. okay? So if you um, put on everything and then you put on um, either the glow powder or just the translucent powder, um, you're good to go because yes. it doesn't do any rubbing on like the, the shirts or something like that. And then it also yes. lasts all day. So literally like you can go to work, run errands, come home, go back out, and you still look good. I so love that's it. the reason why I like that. Um, and then my last thing is Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. I had never heard of this lady, you guys. I have to be honest. Um, but when I found out about her, I was like, okay, I knew that I had to talk about her. So basically what she was was a makeup artist mm -hmm. and then kind of turned to like uh, this big celebrity makeup artist mm -hmm. and decided there's a lot of products out here that she likes, but she wanted to create her own like right. most of us do when we're really passionate about stuff like this. So she came up with a makeup and skincare line that has just completely taken off. I, I will have that. to say I that. I've seen their line yesterday, guys, and um, the packaging 
right. Uh uh. It wasn't right. It's not that great. Right. Well, you know what? It reminds me, and no offense to like Mary Kay and Avon, but I mean, you know, that's what I grew up with my my mom and right. you know my aunts and godmom and stuff like that using. So you know, like when Should I see like the more packaging, updated. yes, I was like, packaging is, and branding is very important. It so, really yeah. is, and it's so interesting because um, one of the beauty gurus that I talked to, she was just kind of like. Oh my God, it's so funny that you say something about the packaging because she has now completely um, transformed everything. So oh, everything did. is like in yeah. production, you know, literally getting transformed, yeah. I guess, into, into something more appealing to the eye I that mean, is that's more important. age appropriate. Because yeah. I was like, how old is this lady? Yeah. You know, she's so popular. You know, she has, you know, all of these great products but when you look at it you're, you're a little bit kind of hesitant because right. you know I think we, we're just now in a environment and society where not only do we want to have something that works but then we also want something that looks good right. that we want to carry around right. you know with us and pull out and be like oh girl that's cute you know yeah. like where'd you get that where'd from or yeah. leave on our a lot of um, you know women now they leave their products on their um, countertops right. in the bathroom so you want it to be appealing when yeah. you're going to and it. so you do yeah. get excited I remember when I used to leave like perfume bottles and you know just yeah. different items on my counter I, I get still excited do. <laughs> I'm like I still do I get excited, um, you know, to see that stuff when I'm waking up and getting ready to put my makeup on because it helps motivate me. I don't know, kind of yeah. crazy. But um, so the one product that I wanted to talk to you guys about with her um, is the Supermodel Body Highlighter. Supermodel Body Body Highlighter. Um, and so what it is, it's just a slimming, hydrating body shimmer. So I tried this out and I absolutely love it. And so just hints to spring and summer, get ready because this is going to be a great go-to product. Yeah. Um, literally, uh, this highlighter is just as what it says. You take the top off and you roll it onto your body. I love yes. that. So it's Convenient. like a roller. Yes. So just, just think of like, um, you know, a deodorant that has a roller ball on yeah. it. And so you're able to roll it up your legs as if you're shaving. And then basically you just blend it in with the rest of your body. Wow. So what it does, um, it firms your skin. So it makes your skin look firm, which I love. So everybody that is ready to kind of, you know, start working on them spring bodies, this is definitely a start. Yeah. Um, and then it also does some sculpting, which is wow. really good. Yeah, you can, you can sculpt, you know, because it has this highlighter presence on it. Right. Um, and then the next thing is um, it contours. Wow. Yes. So like if you are, um, you know, a person that tans, but if you're, you know, um, somebody like us, we don't necessarily tan, right. literally like you can put this on and just rub it in and you're good. Um, and then basically just it's summer confidence in a bottle. So I, I strongly it. suggest guys to go out and get this. Yes. Awesome. Definitely, definitely. Well, that is amazing. I cannot wait to go check out some of those I products. Know. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. We yes. appreciate it. We're here at KEBN. Please be sure to follow us again on all of our social media channels at Totally Obsessed Show. That's Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, and also, when you go and follow us, you'll get to see some of the looks that we actually yes. talked about as well. So you can <laughs> actually get a little bit more details. So thank you guys. We will see you next we'll time. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.